Hello and welcome to another Edexcel IGCSE ICT past paper question. This is a specimen paper, paper one. We are now on question five. For the earlier questions, please see the playlist. Now, question 5a, the last question of the specimen paper for the theory part and ath athletics organization stores data about athletes. Describe how two features of hosted applications could benefit the athletics organization. Right, hosted applications, they're applications that are online. So we're thinking about examples of that. Office 365, Google Docs, etc., are all examples of this. So what are the benefits? Well, they can be accessed from anywhere with internet connectivity and no particular device or operating system is needed. No need to say you need to have Mac OS X or you need to have Windows. It doesn't matter. Now, the second thing I'm going to look at is the collaboration aspect. So the collaboration angle. So workers can collaborate on documents and work together. So there's my second answer for another two marks. Workers can collaborate on documents to work together, which is made possible by using hosted applications. Now, for four marks, I try and to choose two separate kind of aspects there. So I've chosen the internet connectivity, don't need a particular software operating system. And then I've chosen the collaboration angle there, which makes workers can collaborate on documents, which is made possible by using hosted applications. B, which one of these is a type of storage device? Hard disk, Blu-ray drive, solid state memory, or DVD ROM? Now, this is quite a tricky question. You could get this wrong. So we're looking at that word device there. That is key here. It is not a type of storage medium or type of secondary storage. The answer is actually a Blu-ray drive. That is a storage device, an actual device. The hard disk isn't really a device. It's part of the computer. So that, that word device there is really key to answering this question. The answer is B, a Blu-ray drive. C, explain why there are legal requirements for organizations that store data about individuals. Well, think about data. It's highly personal information. So information about medical history, financial records, addresses, etc. Data that is highly sensitive and should be kept very, very securely. So I'm going to think about that data being private and other organizations would want to use that data if they could get hold of it. Now, I've written Data about individuals very private and be very valuable to other organizations if they could get hold of it. We're thinking third party organizations there. Maybe I should have added that there. The government has a responsibility to protect its citizens and their data. Laws are put in place to do this. So that is my answer for four marks. D, the athletics organization uses networks. Complete this table, PAN, personal area network. Best example of a PAN, Bluetooth connection, the internet, now the internet is a WAN, wide area network. So put WAN, wide area network. LAN, local area network. That's probably gonna be an office network. So put office network for that answer there. Number two, list three benefits to the athletics organization of using a client server network rather than peer to peer. Client server is more secure. You can back data up and you have centralized admin. So number one, I put centralized backup. Number two, you can share peripherals. And number three, control of user access rights. E, an eight mark question. The athletics organization asks athletes to provide a detailed personal profile with this statement. Having more data about our members helps us to help you justify the organization's decision to gather this personal information from athletes. Now, to answer this question, I'm going to use PowerPoint to show you how I'm going to construct an answer. I'm going to plan the answer out first. I'm going to show you how to do it and why you should do it. So here's the question. Now I'm thinking about the mark descriptors here, and this will be the same for every eight mark question. Justify AO3 level three, six to eight marks. Six to eight marks is really important that you get there. Six to eight marks is going to change your grade boundary easily. The response will provide good evidence to support the quote statement. So it's point evidence explained, well argued, clearly explained, conclusion, you must write a conclusion for eight marks. The response will show good focus and organization. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to plan it. Now, what I'd recommend in your exam, and I've covered this before in a previous question, is that you get a scrap piece of paper and you do some kind of mind map, some kind of some kind of spider diagram. And I've written data stored about individuals in the middle here. I'm thinking about everything I need to know. I'm getting everything on paper now about data stored about individuals. The reason for doing that, I want to get everything on paper. What I want to do is get all my thoughts down quickly, as quickly as I can. And then I'm going to think about organizing my answer. Once my thoughts are on paper, I'm going to think about organizing it properly. If you go in and you start writing immediately, you're not going to have any sort of structure. You must plan these questions out. I've said it many, many times. You must plan eight mark questions out like this. So thinking about what data will be stored, personal details, personal performance details, medical history. That is the data that's going to be stored about the individuals. Where's it going to come from? Questionnaires, surveys, transactional data, data from cookies. What's it going to be used for? Personalization of experience for the athletes, personalized training programs, targeted marketing, third parties. You may use the data to offer specific products for the athletes. And then the justification now, the important bit, the eight where I get my eight marks, the benefits. This is where I justify it. This is what the question is asking me to do. This is where I'm going to pick up most of my marks. The benefits then to the athletes are that the organization can provide personalized training programs. The organization can provide activities members are more likely to be interested in, locations that are more convenient to them. Okay, so those are the benefits. More personalized training programs, activities that athletes are more likely to be interested in and in locations that they're more likely to go to because we know the data about where they live. So I'm going to construct an answer from my plan. Now I'm going to take each point and construct an answer thinking about the level descriptors here. You will not get this in the exam, but it will be the same for any question. AO3 justify. This is what we need to do. So I've planned out my question first so I can show good focus and organization well argued now taking the first point there what data is going to be stored and i've written my answer here the organization stores data about its athletes this data may include personal details about the athlete performance details including information about the sports they perform in medical history would also be included in this second point where is it going to come from the data that is stored would come from questionnaires surveys Transactional data, which is data from cookies that come from the athlete's previous purchases and search history. So explain about transactional data, where that comes from. Transactional data comes from cookies and that comes from your previous search history and things you bought in the past. That is your transactional data. And that is where this information is, is going to come from. What would it be used for? Data stored on athletes would be used for personalization of their experience at the organization. It could be used to provide personalized training program to the athletes, for example. It could be used by third parties to offer the athletes products. It might help them more likely to consider purchasing. And here's where I pick up my marks, my justification. What are the benefits to athletes? So I've really made that clear to the examiner. I'm not going to write justification. I've just highlighted that in yellow just to make it stand out. But I am going to write a question just to make it really clear to the examiner that I, this is where you're going to give me marks. So have a look at this. This is where you're going to give me your marks. You're going to give me eight marks. The organization can provide personalized training programs to suit the athletes and their needs. The organization can provide activities their members are more likely to be interested in and partake in. Locations that are provided are likely to be more convenient as the organization knows where they live and use this data to provide a better experience. And then a conclusion to sum up, and that is required by the grade boundaries there. You must write a conclusion. You must, must, must write a conclusion. It's only a few paragraphs, a few lines, sorry, not paragraphs, a few lines. In conclusion, why does the organization gather and store this data? To provide a better and more personalized service to the athletes using their personal data. So to sum up then, an eight mark question deserves a plan. 
eight marks is a lot. And if you just sit and just write whatever comes into your head, you're not going to be structuring it properly. And you may make some really great points, but I don't think you're going to be able to hit um, grade boundary three. And even if you do, you're likely to limit your marks to the lower end of that six marks. So definitely, definitely, definitely eight marks deserves a plan. And I've showed you how to plan. And that's a couple of times that I've done this for other videos. Uh, I'll link in the description to another video about why to plan when I've gone through that in a bit more detail. So that is how I would answer that question. And I've hit a lot of points. And I've made it clear to the examiner what, where my points are there. So uh, thank you for watching this video. That completes this specimen paper, paper one. Please like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.